Why did Tristan cheat on Chloe? They seemed like such a happy couple. I thought they were gonna last forever. And then did Chloe put her emotions aside for a second and let Tristan in the delivery room? And will she be able to move forward and forgive him? Guys, keep on watching because we're breaking down all the Tristan and Chloe drama in this week's Moments of the Week. Hey guys, I'm Chanel Herlin. And I'm Devin Howard. And you, do we have a lot of information for you guys. This moment of the week, we literally have one topic, and that is Khloe Kardashian. Of course. What of else course. are we going to talk about? Exactly. So guys, if you don't know already, firstly, where have you been? And hit that <laughs> subscribe button because you need to stay updated. You do. <sighs> but Tristan <laughs> was caught kissing another girl this past weekend, just days before Khloe gave birth. So today, we're bringing you all, guys, all you guys up to speed with all the news. So are you ready? Mm, are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I don't, I'm so sad about this, but let's, let's do it. Let's get into it. Okay, so starting off with the cheat and the details here. This past weekend, Tristan, Chloe's baby daddy, was seen locking lips with a mysterious brunette in New York. There's actual video footage of this guy, so it's not like it's a Photoshop image that went wrong. This definitely happened. Yeah, when I Tragic. saw it, yeah, I was like, that's definitely Tristan, that's definitely not Chloe. Exactly, and he had his hood up. He had a white hoodie on, which I think he felt like he was incognito, but no. hell to the no, we know it was you, man. Yeah, dude, when you're dating a Kardashian, you don't have a private life anymore. I said that already earlier this week. It's, I mean, you, you just don't. You can't expect that privacy anymore. Exactly. Well, he was an idiot, and the Mail Online said, quote, <clears throat> videos filmed by other club goers appear to show Thompson leaning in for a kiss as he speaks to another woman. Oh. Now, Tristan at the time, like I said, was wearing a big hoodie, so he felt like he was incognito, but 100%, we saw it all. There is video footage, and this is where I think celebrities are just stupid. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna cheat, do it somewhere super private. Don't do it when you're like exactly. out at a club, when there's security footage, like, duh. duh. But don't cheat, just stop cheating. And, and in the era of now social media, everything is going to be caught, especially if you're in the public eye. Oh yeah. So just like this woman who actually filmed the clip, she said, quote, I was there and he was at the table right next to us with a group of friends and some girl who he was obviously making out with all night. Uh, oh, they were gosh. holding each other and it was so obvious. They were talking about being around each other all night. Everybody knew who he was, of course. We talked about it and everybody watched them make out several times. Oh my god. Several gosh. times, guys. So this wasn't just like a quick little in out, you know? Like and this even was if happening it was over that, and over. That's still wrong. But yeah. Exactly. And you know what? Even if it came out that he didn't actually kiss her, they were way too close for comfort from mm -mm. the beginning. This shouldn't be happening. No, definitely not. Yeah. And people are actually saying that this is history repeating itself because yeah. how you lost him, uh, sorry, how you got him is how you're gonna lose him. But the thing is, this, I know people have been saying this and you Holly Scoop viewers have been calling us out for like feeling bad for Chloe, saying that she deserved this, she should have seen it coming. But the truth is, is that rumor that she was like the other woman when Tristan was dating Jordan Craig was completely false. Yes, Jordan was pregnant yeah. when uh, when Tristan and Chloe started dating, but she was not still with Tristan. Exactly. But I think it does show you that Tristan is not really a stand-up guy because if he was willing to abandon his pregnant girlfriend the first time around oh, yeah. to date someone new, he sucks. But Chloe was hopeful. She, you know, got pregnant with I, him. Yeah, I can, oh, just all of this is just so devastating for uh, her. Yeah. So speaking now of Chloe, of course she is devastated. I don't think there's any other word for her. But Hollywood Life said, quote, her pregnancy is supposed to be the most special time in her life. And instead it's been ruined by Tristan and it's become the most painful thing it breaks her heart to see the man she loves with someone else i can't even i mean i've been in a relationship now for almost eight years i can't even imagine seeing my other half with someone like that would just completely destroy me oh yeah of course it's i think hard. with time regardless like if you've been with someone two months three months two years like it doesn't get easier to see that no. at all. Mm -mm. Now, according to the same source, Chloe will, quote, lose all trust and she has, she has with Tristan and would highly consider breaking up with him ASAP if this whole thing is true. She doesn't want her child to know that her mother dealt with such awful behavior, even, it, even if it is the father of her own child. Mm. <sighs> Speaking of mamas though, yes. we have Mama Chris. <laughs> yes. And let me tell you, she is having none of this. Mm -mm. The source online, uh, radio, Radar Online said, Chris is plotting revenge and she is not going to be pretty. Well, this is not going to be pretty. She said Tristan has been immediately fired from appearing on the show yes. and she is blacklisting him from all future family endeavors. Of course, <sighs> that this is exactly what needed to happen. 
Tristan has no right to appear in the Tiffany show anymore. Knox. And Chris is like totally out for blood. Like that's yeah. only the tip of the iceberg. Oh what yeah. she's planning on doing. She is seeking revenge. She's going to get Tristan back for what he did to <laughs> Chloe. Listen, her kids are her life, so she will do anything. But I actually wonder if this moment will be on the show. Do you think they'd share that? So I wonder that too. And I know that the source also told, um, hey, well, getting my words mixed up. The <laughs> source also told Radar Online that they began filming on April 8th. So that was before any of this broke. And Chris makes sure that the cameras are rolling at all times. Yeah. So something tells me that they definitely caught it on camera, but oh. is it going to appear in the show? I personally feel like it shouldn't, Yeah, but. Well, seeing as it is like their reality show, I wouldn't be surprised if it was included. I mean, that's yeah. gonna make great TV. I, as sad as it is, like people do want to watch that watch. kind of stuff. Ratings are gonna skyrocket. Oh yeah, but it's just like I feel bad for Chloe. Oh, I, you I, know, I guess they are used to it in some way. But anyways, back to Chris. She said that she totally trusted him and was beginning to actually love him like he was a child of her own. But after this, what he did to Chloe, she's getting ready and Chloe's getting ready to give birth. This is totally going to be the end for him. So like yeah. you said, she's going to be cutthroat with this guy. Oh, like, yes. No, no, no more Tristan in this family. He deserves it. A hundred percent. But then guys, after all of this news, <clears throat> we've moved past the cheat. Chloe went into labor and she gave birth to a beautiful baby girl on Thursday. So now I'm thinking, is this whole cheating story, is it good timing or bad timing? Because obviously it was going to happen. Like he was going to do it regardless. Yeah. But with the birth in the middle, mm. what do you think? I think I think it was bad timing. I think it almost would have been better if Chloe could have gone into labor thinking she was in a stable relationship and then found out. I okay, think she yeah. needed to find out. I just wish it didn't happen. Like the Literally like two days before, I one know. day before. It's so, oh God. It's terrible. So now where does Chloe and Tristan stand? That's the big question. And the big question is, did he actually deserve to be in the delivery room? So Chloe chose to be the bigger person and she actually did the tr let Tristan in the, in the room while she gave birth, which mm. Oh, I can't even imagine how big of a person you actually have to be to let this man and look at this man whilst you're giving birth in the room. Oh, yeah. I mean, at least it probably gave her a good inspiration to like push as hard as yeah. she could. <laughs> yeah. Like, I hate this <laughs> guy. Get it all out. Yeah. The baby actually might have come out in a bit of a panic. <laughs> yeah, like, well, what's going on? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A source told C TMZ that Chloe doesn't want her personal feelings to ruin such a huge moment in someone's life, the birth of their child. So that's, again, like we said, she's being such a big person here. Kris Jenner, of course, flew to Cleveland to support Chloe. And according to TMZ, the rest of the family and the friends are heading there by Friday. Well, that's already happened. So now let's talk about Tristan. Mm. This man, we are not loving him right now. So whilst Chloe is confused on what to do and will have to move forward, a source told Entertainment Tonight that she revealed that the reality star is letting Tristan off easy. Surprising. I feel like maybe there's just too many emotions going on right now. This is the last thing that she actually wants to deal with. Yeah, probably. The insider said that Tristan is being, quote, apologetic and begging for forgiveness. You're only sorry you got caught. That's true. He better be on his knees bringing the flowers, bringing the gifts, bringing everything and just showing that he's going to be a good dad. Ugh. Tristan is the man Chloe loves, apparently. This is according to the source and wants to spend her life with him. So the videos have caused conflicting emotions for her which I can totally understand. Mm -hmm. She's already got like Prager's brain where your emotions are everywhere. Yeah. Like having this to deal with is too much. Even Chloe's family were shocked. The source said, quote, they really like Tristan and have welcomed him into the family. And <laughs> now this. Terrible. But the, but the funny thing here is, is that even though they have welcome, welcomed him into the family, Kylie is the one that's actually throwing some major shade here at Tristan in her Snapchat. She delivered her congrats to her sister Chloe on Snapchat with a custom filter. So have a look here. Now, at first glance, that looks sweet, like a really nice gesture. Right. But the song in the background is Cardi B's Best Life, which is all about not letting people hold you back. So obviously, this has Tristan's name all over it. Uh -huh. Subtle, but effective. And we totally heard <laughs> Kylie's message to her sister loud and clear. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Don't you think it's brilliant, though? Like, yeah. it's very clean and simple. Like, she's just filming the road. You wouldn't really think to listen to the track, but it says a lot. Oh, it does say a lot. And I'm surprised that you even caught that. I love <laughs> yeah. that you caught that. So we all know that the sisters are just rallying their support and love for, for Chloe. For sure. And they are not down for Tristan at all. We're not down for Tristan. We're not down. This is meant to be a beautiful happy time and this has just destroyed it all i can't even imagine how chloe must be feeling like when she looks back on this she wants to have happy memories 
not the sucky memory memory that this guy has created Mm -mm. but that's a lot of news for you guys i hope you feel a little bit more informed with what's happening here so i'm going to leave you with a few questions firstly let me know in the comments below should chloe have known that this was going to happen because of the past like do people change and can they change Mm -hmm. let me know your thoughts on that also should she forgive him and take him back for the child's sake or will she be happier just doing this whole thing alone and not having any kind of cheating baggage yep and lastly do you think that the the kardashian family will ever trust him again and welcome him back into the family and onto the show no way but that's (laughs) my opinion (laughs) yeah guys please let us know all your thoughts in the comments below let me know if you're feeling a little bit more up to date that was a lot of information (laughs) but at least we're all on the same page now and we'll see you guys next week bye bye